The magic of the sunset in the Syrian desert doesn't reflect its hell with flying sand. Washington has divided the eastern part of the desert between ISIS and other armed groups, so that the desert dunes continue to reach, claiming more lives of Syrians. Here, in the desert of Palmyra, there is no melody that Washington played with regard to its presence at El Kanf, namely the protection of the refugees of the Rukban camp and the fight against ISIS. ISIS was there. We had to flee, leaving everything behind. People think that 55th area is forest, gardens, streets, and in fact is a barren desert where people are dying of hunger. America is deceiving people in order to recruit people, and the misguided have not achieved any results except that they are holding these areas. I was in Rukban camp, and the living conditions there deteriorated after we established relations with Jaish Makhavir as Saura at the Al-Tab base supported by the American army. One day, an ISIS fighter joined them. It is clear why. In order to patrol the Syrian-Iraqi border, to track all the strange activities and monitor the Syrian army. On the difficult terrain of the Syrian desert, the area of which is about 80,000 square kilometers, there are still ISIS and remnants of other armed groups. They are located in the vicinity of the 55th area, where the American troops are stationed within the area of El Tanf, between Abu Kamal and the Deir Zor desert, controlled by Syrian troops. More than six years ago, members of the ISIS armed forces found themselves surrounded by a barren desert. As the sands of the desert melt, the enemy becomes stronger. With each new attack on Syrian forces and civilians, they are coming closer. RT cameras are closely monitoring what is happening. Survivors are reporting on this hidden struggle in the desert, which the sand dunes are trying to cover up. Any plan or question we hear from ISIS fighters or Jaish Makhavir as Savir. For six to eight years since the founding of Jaish Makhavir as Saura, there have been no clashes between them and ISIS. So, do you mean that they are in some kind of interaction? Yeah, that's right. It is expressed in columns that move away from the Americans. And we have the evidence. We know that smugglers can enter and leave. They told us, for example, we have reached such a place. The ISIS commander did not allow the smugglers to enter the headquarters. He told them to wait for the cars to arrive now, and then you can go back. In this area, in this particular area, as we heard, there is a valley of water. There was an ISIS position in that area. And we knew that the cars were coming there that there were camps there. Cooperating with al Tanf, they took cars, the used cars, to get to them. These children are experiencing consequences that are beyond their tender age. One of the hardest chapters of the history of Syrian refugees, which is still being written in this camp, inspired by the service of American troops, whom Human Rights Watch in Syria considered responsible for the safety of the civilian population while Washington was trying its best to map out the roots of the forces within the framework of the confrontation, hiding in the desert sands. We've heard that the plan was to interconnect the districts of the 55th area in the direction of Abu Kemal. From the Syrian desert, Wafa Shabruni with a report from RT.